Hi everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today, really excited to talk to you about Bentley pontoons. The model that we're gonna go through today is the 24-foot uh, Navigator. Um, from Bentley, the way they do their model designators and the name, if it's called a 240, that means it's a tri or a two-tube 24-footer. If it's a 243, that indicates the triple tube. So this particular one that we're gonna look at today uh, is the 243. Um, so this is a tri-tune setup. You know, it's going to come with a Mercury 150 horsepower engine. You could get actually up to at least a 200 on it if you like. Uh, but the cool thing about this boat is it really maximizes the amount of space and seating in the boat with the configuration. Um, and there's a lot of kind of unique features and, and things that kind of max help maximize the space so that while it is a 24-foot boat, it actually feels even bigger than that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about with Bentley is some of the things that you know make the boat a little bit more heavy duty. Bentley's always kind of been known as a little bit more of a value line. However, in the last several years, they've had a lot of you know differences and improvements, especially on their models. You know, with the Tritune to you know beef it up, make it a little bit heavier duty. And you know, to be honest, when you compare it to some other you know brands that in theory should be premium brands, I think Bentley actually does a better job and uses some heavier duty material. So just a couple little things I'll point out here on the transom area. You know, nice heavy duty ski tow bar, you know, you know, stainless steel, a nice four step stainless steel ladder. Again, you see a lot of stainless steel in here. You know, nice, you know, rubber bumper on the exterior, stainless steel pop up cleats. And as we look really closely, and this is a lot of times, um, you know, forgotten, but you know, the, the finish on their welds is I think really good. Also on their motor pod and in the transom of the boat, you, you see this, you know, 190 gauge aluminum, which is a thicker, beefier aluminum. Um, they also use a you know an H channel bracket, um, so it gives the boat a little more more contact points, more bolts going through it to you know make it a little bit heavier duty, more contact points, stuff like that. So um, overall, just a ton of uh, bang for the buck, a ton of value in a, in a really a premium level boat at kind of a mid to lower price point. So as we move it up inside the Bentley 24, um, again, space utilization is key. The nice thing about this boat is it's standard with these extended rear platforms. So the rear platform actually extends the boat out, uh, maximizes the usable space for kids to, you know, jump off the boat and, you know, you know, hang out or people entering and exiting the boat from a dock or whatever. You've got a lot of space. And the nice thing is the ski tow bar, a lot of times, you know, the ski tow bar is kind of cumbersome and you can't really get around it, you know, but again, they designed it really well, so it's not in the way, but it almost acts like a grab handle as you're moving around the transom of the boat, which is pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, this particular one's set up with a 150 horsepower engine from Mercury, so you're going to see, you know, plenty enough fast speeds to, certainly for everybody to tube, you know, certainly lighter people who want to ski, but, you know, you can see speeds, you know, up to the, you know, mid-30s, depending on how you have the boat loaded. Um, so, you know, good overall performance. Um, as we move inside the boat, uh, you know, nice heavy duty upholstery, um, you know, more of a premium feel to it. I think they do an excellent job on the fit and finish of the upholstery. Um, you know, nice high back, comfortable seating to it. The other thing I really like is the, uh, the, uh, the little cubby hole there for the cup holders. Um, rather than having a separate piece that you have to, you know, kind of stuff in there, the removable cup holder you got, you know, that kind of tucked away, out of the way. Uh, to either put your phone or cup holders or whatever you want to use. So it's kind of a, it's typically something you'll find on a premium boat, but not so much a value boat. Um, you know, in, in this 24 foot setup, you've got these quad loungers. So you've got four loungers, two in the back, two in the front to really maximize the seating. So as we move into the dash of the Navigator 24 from Bentley, uh, we've got, you know, I think it's a very robust dash. A lot of times, again, uh, if you're looking at lower price point boats, you kind of see a little slender, a little slim, kind of narrow console. You know, but this is a nice wide console. Uh, doesn't encumber too much on the center of the boat. Uh, but you know, nice, you know, kind of armrest on this side. You know, plenty of space. Nice throttle control way off to the right, so it's kind of out of the way. Uh, plenty of you know leg room and you know ability to move maneuver around. You know, I'm a taller guy and I've got plenty of space. Uh, this particular boat's equipped with the little GPS in the center, your traditional gauges on the left and right showing RPM, volt, mile per hour, and gas and fuel. Um, all your auxiliary switches here all down to the right, but in general, just a kind of a you know good space utilization. But it's a you know robust fiberglass console. It's not using the you know some of the cheaper rotocast consoles that some brands use. Um, you know little things like USB plugs. You know that everybody always wants. You know located right up at the dash. So. Uh, stereo control and everything you need right up here. And the other thing I do like, um, you know, copying, um, you know, other brands like uh, Barletta that we also sell is you don't see that kind of chintzy plexiglass windshield um, that a lot of pontoon boats have. It's kind of a you know sleek look, um, you know, right in, on the on the uh, on the cover. 
um, or on the uh, dash cover. Um, so again, just overall, you know, nice clean look, not super crazy fancy or ridiculous, but a nice for a value type boat. I think it's a really nice console. So the layout in this Navigator model is going to have your dual captain's chairs, which is becoming more and more popular. It's probably the most popular layout we have, you know, kind of a captain and co-captain setup, so you can have a nice comfortable uh, chair for, you know, the person over here. A couple cup holders, a nice little storage area down, down here. One feature that is optional, but I do like how, you know, we typically equip these boats. Um, you know, we do add some options, some of the stainless steel options that aren't really that costly. Um, that, you know, we'll add to this boat to kind of make it, you know, seem like, um, you know, more than a simple little boat because it really is a, a kind of upper mid-level boat. Uh, but we want to, you know, make sure to, you know, have some features that make it unique and different or some features that you don't normally find on a boat at this price. You have to jump up to several thousand dollars to get that. But one of the features that I do like is this pop-up uh, table. Um, which is really slick. It just really, actually, compared to some of the others I've seen out there, this is one of the better designs I've seen, where you kind of have this little serving area, you know, a couple cup holders built in, a nice little table that you always tend to want on a pontoon boat. Uh, you can obviously get the center mount tables and different things like that, but you know, then you got to walk around it. And people, you know, this is completely out of the way of pretty much whatever anybody's doing. So um, again, really slick, clean design on that. You know, pops in and out really quickly and easily. Um, and stores away. Um, other things from a storage perspective, obviously you've got storage underneath all the seats. Uh, this is not a bad spot here under the console to maybe slide in one of those standard size coolers um, or backpacks or stuff like that, just kind of out of the way. Um, and then because this boat is a tri-tune, we do have a nice center tube storage uh, on the 24 foot here. You know, good deep compartment, you know, has a little uh, liner in there. Um, you know, to protect your equipment, but overall, uh, you know, again, tons of storage in this boat from top to bottom. So move to the bow area. Again, we're talking about just tons of seating. We talked about the cup holders but they are kind of naturally built in. Um, you know, on, on both sides, you've got plenty enough space for either, you know, three to four people to sit sideways or, you know, even one person to lay with their legs up and another person sitting on the end. Um, so again, you know, good. And also I do like the way that they, you know, little courtesy light, um, and speaker grill here located and again nice design on that for a value boat a lot of times you'll look at that and it looks kind of kind of low end but you know they do a good job of you know keeping these seat bases also outward a lot of times the seat bases will move inward and you'd sit on this corner seat and the seat would pop up but obviously I'm sitting here putting a lot of my weight down and the seats not popping up behind me so you know again just little things that um, a lot of times you wouldn't normally find on a more value oriented pontoon that is included um, the other thing, is, as we move to the bow and some of the features that are included on this boat, I always like to point out um, on the Bentley that you, you've got things like the docking lights, uh, as well as the navigation lights and the cleats that are kind of out of the way. The docking lights are mounted to the fence panel of the boat. Um, the cleat and the navigation lights are mounted kind of off in an odd corner so that if you're stepping on and off the boat, you're not going to trip over them. Um, you know, people entering and exiting the boat a lot of times, you know, they'll, they'll mount some of that stuff right on the front and uh, you know, by having them kind of hidden away out of the way, it makes the, you know, the boat flow a lot better and um, you, know, you kind of avoid tripping on things and breaking things with your feet as you're entering and exiting the boat. You know, sometimes on a, on a dock, you, you're, you're jumping and you're not really seeing where you're going and having that stuff be out of the way is really good. So overall, just I really, really like um, you know, the, the way that this you know, Navigator is laid out from Bentley. Um, you know, great overall value, you know, a lot of premium features, which is always, always good on a boat at this price. Um, you know, good overall performance. Uh, and, uh, you know, we appreciate you checking out this, this boat with us here at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information, visit our website to view our inventory, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. If you like this video, um, let, you know, subscribe to our YouTube page. We appreciate all the feedback we get from that. Um, we get people all over the country looking at these videos. And, um, you know, while we do uh, certainly love, appreciate all the people from Ohio buying boats from us watching these videos, we appreciate all those around the country that look at them as well um, to get, gain information and gain knowledge, because that's really what it's for. We understand that not everybody from Northeast Ohio is going to watch these, but a lot, a lot of people around the whole country and even internationally will watch them. So we appreciate it. Thanks again for checking out the video.